Welcome to Lake Tahoe. Many bags do look alike, unless yours is beat up like mine. Man, I need a new suitcase. If you're flying into Reno, the easiest way to get to Tahoe is to take the airporter, which is a shuttle that will take you to and from South Lake Tahoe. It has multiple stops. Today, I am taking you along on a really fun trip to Lake Tahoe. I'm here with the babes that wander. This is my travel girl gang that I travel with occasionally. We took a little break over the summer, but we are back and we are here in beautiful South Lake Tahoe. So if you're looking for fun things that you can do, then just keep on watching. I also have a video from a couple years ago when we came up here to go skiing. Uh, so if you're interested in more of like a wintertime video, I'll link that down below. Let's go enjoy Lake Tahoe. Getting the shot. Yes, please. Whoa, 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 but let's not get ahead of ourselves here. <laughs> For the first leg of our trip, we were hosted by Tahoe Accommodations, which is a company that has hundreds of vacation rentals to choose from around Lake Tahoe, here in South Lake Tahoe and all around the lake. You can find affordable cabins, comfortable family homes, and exquisite executive retreats. They really have everything, and it's perfect if you're traveling with your family or with a group of your friends like we were. All right, we're heading up the gondola. See the view, it definitely feels weird to be doing this without my skis. <laughs> it's just a joy ride. Hi. Hi, you two. What are you doing here? <laughs> some fun on top of the mountain taking in the view we popped back down to sprouts which is a wonderful place to go grab lunch it's organic it's healthy it's fresh and the food was out in no time and there's definitely something for everyone on their menu yeah rock that life jacket work <laughs> just had a lovely lunch at sprouts and now we're all suited up oh geez, <laughs> We're gonna go clear bottom kayaking. Just as a word of warning, even in the summertime, which we were there at the end of it, it can be a little bit cold on the lake, especially when the boat is really moving and the breeze is flowing. So make sure to bring a jacket, dress a little bit warm, but they do have blankets on board for you too. Uh, if you haven't noticed, they don't really look like normal kayaks. Uh, we call them kayaks, but they're actually styled after a French canoe. If you've noticed, they have a flat bottom. The flat bottom means that when we're looking through our kayaks, what you see is what is there. Their true view. There's no weird angle distortion, depth perception thing. These are virtually impossible to tip over. Just don't stand up and you'll stay in your kayak at all times. It shouldn't be an issue today. Do not worry, you will not sink. These will stay afloat even if they're pretty full of water. Ready for a beer after this? Yeah. Same. <laughs> I got Megan. There she is! <laughs> There's Elise and Greta over there. Just out waiting for the rest of our tour group to join us. It's really crazy how clear the bottom of these, you can see the water also is just so clear. You can see straight down to the bottom. Which clearly it's not very deep here because did you know that Lake Tahoe is deep enough that you could submerge the Empire State Building? inside of it. If the Empire State Building was in Lake Tahoe, in the deepest part, it would be completely under the water. The second deepest lake in the United States. Yeah. Also, there's so much water in Lake Tahoe that you could give every person in the United States 50 gallons of water a day for five years. Holy shit. It's just nuts. Just out on the lake. It's really kind of wavy out here, though. Have you been down yet? 
Yeah, it's crazy. Get ready to see us in the next Olympics. Here we come. <laughs> the new technique, man. Oh, shut up. <laughs> For dinner, we headed over to Lake Yule Social, which is kind of a newer spot in South Lake Tahoe that is so cool. And honestly, I'm definitely going to put this on my list to come back to for some apres ski when we come up here for the snow. They've got a great beer list, some really good local wines, and also a delicious menu. And you can sit outside and enjoy the awesome live music and fire pits. You guys taught it to me, and I was like, I love it. I listened to it after the keys, just like at home. <laughs> 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 this in our old rocking chair. Yeah. <laughs> this will be like when we're old ladies, we'll be in our rocking <laughs> chairs <laughs> on our babes trips. Drink in which I have skated on. Look at the cute putt putt golf. In the summertime, it's this cute little putt putt area. They have these little bungee jumping things. It's a fun little area in Heavenly Village to come and check out. By the way, Base Camp Pizza makes a really great pizza. Definitely got to check it out while you're in Tahoe. However, we were in search of libations. In fact, we were in search of a speakeasy that is inside of Social House. You have to ask the bartender what? to be a cooler walk indoor into a very cozy and quite small little speakeasy space but it's very moody and I loved the vibes in here. The bartenders were super knowledgeable as our hostess stated and the menu is like some really fun very interesting combinations of things so if you really like craft cocktails you definitely have to check this place out. So it's day three. I think it's two. Saturday, Sunday. We're here at the docks once again. We're gonna get on the Tahoe Tastings yes. wine cruise on this very cool, like old boat. Yes. So it's vintage. A little, it's a little early, but it's never too early for wine in my book. So we've got some snacks. We brought some snacks. Yeah. Make got sure our coffee. Yeah, you can bring your own little picnic lunch snack, wine, cheese. Well, don't bring the wine. They have the wine, but crackers, cheese, Fruit. whatever, whatever food you want to bring, you bring it on, and then they bring the wine and just cruise on Lake Tahoe. So yeah, excited to see all the beautiful views today. Let's go drink some wine. Let's go. Right now. <laughs> sure, there's plenty of places in Lake Tahoe to go wine tasting, but why not do it aboard the Golden Rose, a beautiful vintage, one of a kind, 1953 Venetian water taxi. Throughout the tour, you'll taste eight wines from different regions, but it's heavily focused on Northern California wine. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> This tour 
was so relaxing. It's pretty small because the boat itself is not too large. You're only there with a couple other groups. The staff was super knowledgeable at the wine and so much fun. And it was just incredible to get to enjoy this amazing wine with the stunning views of Lake Tahoe all around us. also a fantastic way to get to experience the beautiful Emerald Bay and Fana Island close up without having to deal with the strenuous hike down and back up. But we'll get back to that in a little bit. Stay tuned. After the tastings are all over, you're welcome to purchase a glass or a bottle to enjoy for the duration of the two-hour cruise. After our tour was over, we headed over to Toulouse, which is a relatively new restaurant in South Lake Tahoe that was started by four people who met in New Orleans and wanted to create a restaurant that celebrated the delicious food of that city. They use local sustainable ingredients in a warm and friendly environment with a lot of cuteness because this little guy is running around. We finished up with our wine cruise and we hopped into Toulouse to have some lunch. It's this really cool new spot that's here in Tahoe, opened up pretty recently. So, sipping on my Pimm's Cup. It's a Monday, but I'm on vacation, so. Viva La Tahoe, I don't know. Some of our favorites were the seasonal bruschetta, the blackened salmon, and you can't come to a New Orleans restaurant and not try their gumbo. This one is not to be missed. <laughs> <laughs> That's hard to eat like that. Mm -hmm. mm, it's good though. Off to our next home away from home during this trip. All right, charging the Tessie because they have all these charging stations here. She's good, bam. Sexy. Desolation Hotel is a new resort here in South Lake Tahoe, and it is the modern adventurer's paradise. Nestled on the southern end of Lake Tahoe, they offer superior access to outdoor exploration, natural diversions, and eco luxury. When we arrived in our room, we were greeted with a bottle of champagne. Of course, we had to pop it open immediately. I to do it with a knife. Oh, savor it. Woo! No, you gotta go. You pour champagne, you have to hold it sideways. I'm obviously not a fancy bougie bitch like <laughs> you guys are. All right, how about a room tour of the Granite Suite, which is the most epic room at Desolation Hotel. So this is the bathroom, it's so big, the floors are heated. Oh, okay. They have a Dyson hair dryer what? in the room <laughs> to use. That is, that wow. Out. Here is the kitchen area. I get really excited by Dyson products, what can I say? The kitchen is gorgeous. It's got this huge cabinet full of all the plates and dishes you could need. Then you've got a little kitchenette area, the perfect size for a short-term stay with a little stove, a small fridge, which we had already stocked our stuff with. So This pretty. is the gorgeous living room area, which that couch is a pull-out couch, which is a queen bed. You've got a little balcony here and then the master suite. I mean, this is just, Wow, am I right? Look at that fireplace. It's so modern and spacious, but it has still like a warm and cozy vibe. Then on the master suite, you've got your own little enclosed balcony with a sitting area and a gorgeous soaking tub. We just got settled into our insanely beautiful room and the lovely guys here at Isolation are gonna give us a tour of the property and show us around. How's that, Champs? So good. Feels good to be at the Desolation. Tahoe for a little bit longer stay or maybe you're coming with your family or also with a group they have the El Dorado townhomes that have their own garages with EV charging washer and dryer a separated living space with kitchenette and then you've got the balcony upstairs they have the master suite with the bedroom and just a gorgeous master bedroom so many luxury touches in these townhomes as well they've got a great gym with some pelotons and weights as well as a sauna but we were definitely hearing the pool call our names so 
we just got done with our tour here. This is just a gorgeous hotel. They haven't even had their grand opening yet. I believe it's happening in the next couple weeks or so. So definitely a great option for coming here in the summertime or the winter time. It's absolutely beautiful. Now we're just gonna have some nice relaxing time at the pool before we go upstairs and have dinner at their gorgeous restaurant nice. which is the in-house restaurant here at the Desolation Hotel. Maggie's is a cozy little restaurant at the rooftop of the hotel that offers seasonal fare and really walks the line between a casual and elegant, local and worldly and comforting and enticing. It really is all of those things, but you feel like you're at home because the staff really treat you like family. It's actually not your friend. I'm a really good friend. Babes, don't let babes. Take shitty dark selfies. <laughs> you really can't go wrong here. Everything we ate was just incredible. Look, the curtain is open up magically. It's so cool. This room is so high tech. I'm gonna try this pour over thing. We filter with no. So one million years later, <laughs> I really do not know how this is going to taste. We are going to try it. Now, halfway through this process, I realized that both bags in this room are decaf, so. Bad, I'm bad. I think my sister would be proud of me. If you're watching Joe, I can do this now. It's decaf. Last full day here in Tahoe. Um, we are going to get ready and we have brunch um, in a little bit, followed by we're gonna go maybe go hiking in Emerald Bay and check out all of that. That we go check out some local breweries. And so we have a really busy day ahead of us. Get ready for another fun filled day here in Tahoe. Thank you. done a little content creation we headed over to the landing for Jimmy's to get some brunch this is also a great hotel here and they have this gorgeous restaurant which with a fabulous brunch Megan and I of course had to get some mimosas we ordered family style so we could try a little bit of everything but my favorites had to be the avocado toast and the prosciutto eggs mm. benedict but everything was incredible brunch we are fed filled up at least Elisa and I are <laughs> we're gonna go on a little hike down to Vikings home I hope I'm saying that right and check that out and go kayak to the little island that we saw yesterday it's 
gorgeous out here, so it's a perfect day for a hike. If you can manage to get a parking spot in this small lot, make sure you pay and display your ticket on your dash. The trail down is pretty steep, so don't go down this if you are not able to hike back up a very steep climb. Once you reach the bottom, you can rent kayaks to kayak over to Fanat Island. They're a little pricey, but it's your only option. So if you want to do it, you just kind of have to pay it. Influencers flip their freaking kayak because they tried to take a selfie. <laughs> so Elise and I are taking a kayak out to this little island here in Emerald Bay. Elise has wanted to do this since she was a kid. Literally since I was a kid. I've wanted to do it since yesterday, um, but I didn't know it was a thing you could do till yesterday. So yeah, we're, we're kayaking for the second time in like 30 days. <laughs> Adventure babes. Fanat Island is the only island in all of Lake Tahoe, located here in beautiful Emerald Bay on the west shore of the lake. Once you manage to get out of your kayak without totally getting in the water and parking it, it's just a short little hike up some rocks to the top. We made it. Short but steep. <laughs> fireplace in here. feeling than our clear kayaks were so we almost like I said fell off trying to take a selfie so <laughs> Vikings home is also a really interesting place to check out they do tours during the spring summer and I believe early fall so make sure to check the website I'll have it linked below on the roof. never seen grass growing on a roof before it's so wild but even if you don't go inside it's still a beautiful area the beach down here is really beautiful so it's definitely worth the hike we're five minutes in on the hike up back to the car and it is steep. Oh, okay, shade. Woo. It's easy coming down. And uh, when you come up, it's gonna get your booty going. So be warned. After all that hiking, we were definitely thirsty. So we went to south of north for a local brew. This was a great walking distance from our Desolation Hotel location, but Lake Tahoe has so many great breweries. You can actually do a brewery crawl all around, but I loved this one. They had a great outdoor area with fire pits and some fun games. You can just relax, enjoy your drink and the outdoors. For our last dinner, we headed over to Edgewood, which is Tahoe's probably most premier luxury resort, and it is just gorgeous inside. One of the most beautiful hotels I've ever seen. dinner in Tahoe. We are at the Bistro at Edgewood. This is such a beautiful, like gorgeous luxury resort here in Tahoe. It's right on the lake. We have such a beautiful view of the sunset. They have this nice live music going on right over here. I'm sipping on my very delicious cocktail. And we have some foie gras and some lamb chops coming. Clearly, we're roughing it in Tahoe this trip. Cheers! Cheers, y'all! Yay! <laughs> Back at the Reno airport, just waiting on my flight, which has been delayed twice now. So, just chilling, but I hope you guys enjoy this little trip up to South Lake Tahoe. If you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on my next video.